Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Stuff to Perfume Review. So today I am extremely happy to be reviewing With Love by Paris Hilton. This fragrance came out in October of 2014 and I believe it was her 17th fragrance. Um, this fragrance was dedicated to her fans and was for more her like sensual side with her fans if that makes sense. So this fragrance is a whole new bottle design, a whole new um, everything from anything in her line. This isn't a spin-off to anything. So, when you get the box on the front of just a normal 100ml box, you get this cool slip cover that looks like this. It's got an advertisement of Paris Hilton on the black background. And in gold writing on her dress, it says, With Love by Paris Hilton, Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer 3.4 ounce, 100ml. Then, this is just a slip case, so it slips off like this. And then, you've got the box that looks like this with some black lace on the front that says, With Love. Um, a red border, and then it says with love on top, and then it's the lace kind of carries over at the side. And then you got information on the back and barcode on the bottom. The bottle for it this time looks like this. So, new bottle design is kind of this like it starts off as a square and then it tapers up and becomes a circle, if that makes any sense, like this. And it says, with love, Paris Hilton, and it's got this kind of lacy whatnot. I don't know if you guys can even see this or not. It's got this lace print on the side of the bottle. Your lid this time has this cool little Paris Hilton P on top, and then it has this little gold brim with some lace on it. So, the notes of this fragrance, the top notes are... Apple, bergamot, and kiwi. Middle notes are jasmine, orchid, and lemonish lily of the valley. With base notes of sensual wood, creamy musk. Oh, sensual wood and creamy musk. Okay, so that is all you get with the notes for this one. When you first spray this fragrance, Straight off the bat, I feel like the strongest note of this whole entire fragrance from the top all the way to the bottom is the apple. I feel like the apple is extremely prominent in this scent, which makes it a fragrance I do like from her because it is really strong on the apple. Um, I feel like the kiwi kind of plays a little bit of a fun opening role into the fragrance. It doesn't last a super, super long time, but it doesn't just completely diminish. I feel like it just tones itself down a little bit. Um... The jasmine is definitely the note that stands out of the florals. Um, it has this kind of like soft floralness to the fragrance with the orchid and the lily of the valley kind of backing it up and playing supporting roles. Um, not getting a whole lot of the woodiness to this fragrance. It does have a slight woodiness to it, but I definitely feel like it's kind of an apple-y, kiwi musk fragrance. It's not overly musky, which is nice, but it does kind of have that crisp apple-ness that, that apple adds to a fragrance bottle. Wow, can I talk for there a second? Anyway, it adds this appleiness to the whole entire fragrance and it gives that crispness that apple adds to a fragrance if apple's in it. Um, definitely a really nice fragrance from her. It's a little more grown up, a little more elegant than some of her other fragrances. Um, it's definitely kind of a sensual, elegant, grown up, intimate perfume, if that's kind of what I would go with. Um, I would definitely say this fragrance, it could be someone's signature scent. It definitely could be worn year-round. Um, I feel like if you were going to categorize it, though, I feel like it would be definitely be a uh, spring-summer kind of daytime scent. It is very light and airy and fresh. On me, it lasts about six to seven hours. Um, I will tell you guys straight off the bat, it's nothing super different from anything else out there. It's not something that's completely stand out. I do feel like this fragrance smells similar to something I have smelled before, but I can't exactly pinpoint what it is. But I definitely do like this. It's in part of my, I think it's my, one of my top five of the Paris Hilton fragrances. Definitely a very nice fragrance. Um, I would like to see a spin-off to this just to kind of see like a different version of it. I would love 
Paris to do a nighttime perfume. I've been saying this for years that I want Paris to do a nighttime perfume just because I feel like she does, she has so many other fragrances that are geared toward different things. I really want her to make one that's just geared straight for nighttime. Obviously, I probably won't wear it at nighttime. That's just because I'm weird and I wear fragrances at all different times. But I would love for her to make a nighttime fragrance. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Paris Hilton's With Love. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. If you guys have requests for any reviews, please go ahead and um, comment below and ask them. I definitely will add them to my list of things to review. Thanks, guys. Bye.